Hey friends, today we are checking into Bay Lake Tower here at Disney's Contemporary Resort. We're gonna have ourselves a little staycation and I wanna give you a grand tour, show you the room and also all the amazing resort amenities. And then later on tonight, we're gonna have dinner at Chef Mickey's. I am so excited. Anywho's, let's go do this. Bay Lake Tower is one of my favorite resorts to stay at. I feel like it offers so much. And tonight we're actually gonna be staying in a theme park view room. So we're gonna be able to watch Enchantment from our balcony. And I'm so excited to do that. I'm also very excited to go eat at Chef Mickey's later on tonight. That's over at Disney's Contemporary and that's a character dining. So we're gonna be able to eat some food and hang out with Mickey, Goofy, Pluto, and all of our friends. And I haven't been there since it first reopened and this will be my first time going back and I'm excited to see if it changed at all. We're gonna get all checked in and explore the resort a little bit. And I just love walking in the main lobby here at Bay Lake Tower. The artwork is amazing and it actually has a unique smell to it too. I think all resorts have like a special smell. Earlier I was talking about how the resort has some amazing amenities and look at everything that you can do here. We've got trivia at six o'clock, movie under the stars, Mickey tie-dyes, a campfire where you can actually make some s'mores. You can rent out a boat, you can rent out a cabana, and they even have a 50th anniversary celebration pool party. So this is gonna be fancy. Oh, and they have the 50th anniversary s'mores too. I've had those, those are really, really good. Whenever I come to check in at a Disney resort, I always come a little bit early because sometimes you can get your room early and I feel like you pay so much for these rooms, you might as well stay as long as you can. And I've been getting rooms sometimes as early as one o'clock, but today the room is not ready. So it gives us time to actually walk around and explore the resort a little bit and be able to show you guys some of my favorite little sections. A lot of people don't know that right to the left of Bay Lake Tower, they have a full-sized basketball court over here. And it's kind of like tucked away and I think it's really, really fancy because it has such an amazing view. And it's super windy out today, so I think we're gonna explore around this area a little bit. It's actually a basketball court and a tennis court and it's right on Bay Lake. So you can be like literally playing and looking out at it. It's such an amazing view and I, I really love that. Look at how beautiful it is over here. It's a full basketball court and a tennis court. And I don't think they supply the basketballs over here. I think you'd have to get it from the community hall, but it's right on Bay Lake, so it's so beautiful. And to the left of the courts, they have this nice, serenic walking trail that looks so nice. I think I'm actually gonna go walk it. It looks like you used to be able to go down right to the water right here, but they put up a rope there. I wonder why they did that. Yeah, it seems like they had like a little bit of a walkway that took you into the beach area there, but they have a rope there, but we can still walk along this side. They even have some signage down there, so I don't know. I guess uh, it's a no-go area. Might as well just go for a nice little walk around the resort as we wait for our room to get ready. And then once it's ready, we'll go up and I'll show you the room and give you a room tour. And it's very breezy out, so you might hear a lot of breeze in the microphone, but I'm feeling great. Like this is really, really nice. They have a nice little grilling area back here with picnic benches. And like I said, you're right here on the water. You're a, you are on Bay Lake. And this was the path that I was talking about before. I wish we can go down there. I mean, that would be so pretty. I know that they have a separate beach and it's over there. You can see it actually tucked away. So we're gonna see if we can go to that little private beach. And this used to be the walkway to actually get to the private beach. They probably did it because of the alligators and the snakes. You can see the signs are posted right there. To get to the private beach, you actually have to cut through the uh, pool area because that's how they keep it so private because you have to use your band to actually get in. So we're gonna go down there and just kind of hang out for a second. It's actually right over here, but I wanted to stop and show you guys the fire pit area. And this isn't where they actually make the s'mores. This is where you can come and hang out and watch the electric water pageant. It is so, so cozy over here. It's one of my favorite places to come and relax. Maybe we'll do that a little bit later on, but now let's, uh, let's go hit the beach up. Right here, look at this beach access, and you have to press this little button, and I'll let you in. And I think I just got my text that uh, lets me know my... Uh, my room's ready, but we're down at the beach. Look at this. So cozy. It's like we got the whole beach to ourselves. I don't want to go to my room yet. I can chill out here. Holy moly. What a view. I love it. It does look like our room is ready, so we're going to have to go up, but 
Isn't this just amazing? I love it. I could spend hours sitting out here. It is so beautiful out. It's not even hot and it's just so crystal blue skies and there's so much wind. It is so nice. I just love being on the water. I really want to go rent a boat and just go out there because like, I can rent like a pontoon boat and just go drive it around Bay Lake and I don't know. I feel like I should do it. I feel like I, I, that's kind of what I want to do. Since our room is ready, I think we're going to head up to the room, get all of our stuff in there, and then I'm going to go over to the marina and we're going to see about renting a boat and just going out for a little bit. You know, I'm, I'm here to relax and enjoy and that's something I really want to do. Look, somebody's out there right now. Looks like we are on the 8th floor and there's 16 floors here at Bay Lake Tower and of course all the way at the top is the Top of the World Lounge which is sadly not open yet. It's not open. Disney hasn't announced anything. I know that it did open up for Bay Lake guests for New Year's Eve but it hasn't reopened since and uh, yeah we're going up to our room. And here we are room 7818. Let's head on in. Ooh fancy. I love Bay Lake Towers room layouts. I think they are so cool. So we're gonna give you the grand tour, but first let's head right out over to the balcony. I wanna show you the theme park view. Oh wow, I can see Cinderella Castle already. Look at that, and Space Mountain. This is impressive, isn't it? Holy moly. These are gonna be a like prime firework viewing spot. There we go. That's it. Look at that view. Holy moly. Isn't it so beautiful? I love it. I can't wait to watch the fireworks later on from right here. We're just going to sit on our balcony, watch the fireworks. It's going to be right there. It's going to be right there. Stare at the monorails. It is such a beautiful day. I love Disney World. I love just staring out at it. Here comes a monorail right now. <laughs> that gets me so excited. You can see the buses going back and forth. Oh, man. Tron is coming along pretty well. This is, this is great. I'm very excited. I believe Enchantment is at 8 o'clock tonight and this is going to be the first time I've seen Enchantment from one of the monorail resort rooms because anytime I've ever stayed here at Bay Lake Tower it's been when there was no fireworks or happily ever after so this is going to be my first time to see Enchantment from a theme park viewed room and I'm very excited and also did I tell you how much I love Bay Lake Tower rooms I mean I love the incredible rooms but I love Mickey Mouse so much more Bay Lake Tower still has the uh, contemporary Mickey artwork in its rooms and I love it. You got Mickey in a spaceship there, Mickey above the bed. But one thing I noticed, I feel like the TVs are getting smaller. Like, <laughs> and some of the other resorts, I remember it being much more bigger. It looks like we got a smaller TV there. Got a nice little entertainment center. And I like how they have like a separate kitchen area. Like that's like one of the best things about staying at Bay Lake. You have your bathroom over here and then you have a kitchen. You have like a little kitchenette. And it's got a coffee uh, maker. It's got toaster, microwave. It's got a little mini fridge, fully stocked. Then we got some uh, cups and plates up here. An ice bucket. You need an ice bucket. A nice little mirror section here with some shelves. I mean, it's good for you uh, if you want to come make your, uh, do your makeup here. Hi. <laughs> Let's see what they got going on in the drawers here. We got some of this. We need some French vanilla creamer though. Ooh, the 50th anniversary coffee though. You're coming home with me. <laughs> oh, well, I'm gonna need one of them though. So we'll put that back in there. And then nothing in that. Probably got a trash can and some dish soap. Ooh, what kind of soap do we got here? Ooh, ooh we got the laundry detergent. The laundry detergent is coming home with me. Some hand dish soap. That's the fancy stuff. They got laundry detergent, but I don't think there's a washer and dryer in this room. So I don't know why they have laundry detergent in there, but I do like it. Right next to the kitchen, they've got a little closet over here. And it's not big enough that you can lay down in it. But, I mean, it's a nice sized closet. It's got a little safe inside there. It's got a luggage rack. It's got some pillows and blankets up there. Very nice. But, I want to show you the bathroom. And there's something pretty unique in the bathroom. First of all, I like the bathroom doors. I like the slidey doors. I don't know why. I think those are so cool. But, can we talk about the toilet paper? Look at the toilet paper. It's upwards. 
It's not like on its side. I feel like this is very fancy. Can you control like which way it goes? Nope, I guess it just stays like that. Might be a little loose though. Yeah, it looks like it's loose. I think people were trying to pull it down beforehand because that's what I thought first too. But that's pretty fancy. I kind of want my like toilet paper to be like this. Not like this, I like it like this. It's gotta be really cool. If you get excited about the littlest things like toilet paper being upright, then uh, you'll find out that you'll have a lot of exciting things happen in your life. Other than the fancy toilet paper holder, they do have a nice little bathroom though. It's not like a stand-up shower, it's a nice little tub area and uh, a nice little uh, mirror section here and a uh, place where you can hang up your clothes. I always think this is fancy. You can hang up your clothes, you can just put it right there. Bada bing, bada boom. So that's maybe why you need your laundry detergent. You can do it in the tub. Also, it's important to point out that they have the uh, H2O products in the little individual bottles, not locked up in the shower. And I think that's kind of really cool because I've been staying at some rooms where they have the H2O locked up. Gotta free the H2O. Soap, shampoo, conditioner, all the works, body lotion, facial soap. All the novelties and all the sundries. I do want to point out that even though they do have smaller TVs in here, they have DVD players. They have DVD players in the rooms. And I believe down at the community hall, which we're going to go check out, they have DVDs so you can actually rent them out and bring them up to your room and watch Disney movies. And I think that is so awesome. See, take a look at that. Nice little DVD player. But what is this? Have they not heard of HDMI yet? Holy moly. I feel like maybe uh, they need a technology boost here in the rooms. Oh, nice little remote. Actually, you got a remote for the DVD player too. Those are actually hard to come by. I feel like everyone loses the remote to a DVD player. It also looks like they got a pull-out sofa and the bed looks comfy as well. Four pillows on the bed though. They do have the extras, but nothing tops the Polynesian. The one time I got eight pillows on the bed when I walked in and I was like, wow, that is really, really fancy. I think Pop Century has eight pillows on the bed too. Like they give out a lot of pillows over there. It definitely passes the comfy check though. Very, very comfy. <laughs> oh. Now that we're all checked in, I gave you the grand room tour. Let's head down to the marina and see about renting a boat and uh, just hang out down there. Our reservation for Chef Mickey's is at 5.30 and it's only 3.20 now. And also, I wanted to point out that it's only 3.20 and we got our room, uh, like I think about 2.45. So just because it says check-ins at four doesn't mean that you can't get your room early and take advantage of all of it. Take advantage of all the time you get to spend in this beautiful resort. You got Mickey above the bed. I also vote Bay Lake Tower for having the prettiest elevators. And there's probably a huge echo here, but they have some very fancy elevators. You can see we got some hidden Mickeys there. And also, look at the views. I mean, look at this furniture too. It's so contemporary-ish. I love it. But wow, that is so amazing, isn't it? And there's the basketball court that we showed you earlier on right there and over there beyond the water that's where all the boats go at night all right let's head out and see about that boat let's see about a boat <laughs> other than boat rentals they have so many things you can do down here they have pool tables they have foosball tables table tennis they have miniature golf they have bocce and also i wanted to stop in the community hall which is over here and this is where they do a lot of that fun stuff oh it looks like they're doing one of the tie-dye classes in there. Oh, I don't want to go in there and interrupt them now, so we'll have to check that out later, but that's where you can get the DVD rentals and all the other sports things you need, like tennis rackets or basketballs. And here's a little bit of the miniature golf and then bocce's on the other side, I think. It's really nifty. So like I said before, I wanted to see about coming out and renting a boat. You can rent one of the pontoon boats yourself and drive it around Bay Lake. And I think they do it by half an hour. I mean, the only added benefit is you're out there by yourself, but also you get to just stop and sit and relax. It's such a nice day out. I just want to go out and sit in the water for a little bit on a boat. And the contemporary side over here has their own beach. And where we want to go is right over here to the boat nook. And that's where you can rent out the boats that they actually have. I like the beach over at Bay Lake a little bit better. This one isn't so private. 
here is a look at the pricing for the boat rentals it's 45 dollars for 30 minutes 90 dollars for 60 minutes and that's up to 10 people so you can go out on bay lake for 30 minutes and bring 10 people for 45 dollars super super cheap and awesome you can also do the firework cruises 400 dollars, and that's also 10 people but that comes uh with a lot more add-ons so today we're just going to take the uh pontoon out you don't need any special license to drive the boat and it's not that difficult. As long as you can drive a car, you can drive the boats here, the pontoon boats. And uh, yeah, we're going out. And here are the pontoon boats and we're about to load up and uh, go out on the sea or go down the water and I'm excited. Now that we're in the boat, I'm gonna give you a rundown of the pontoon itself. And this is the same pontoon boats that they would take out for the firework cruises. And I love it, I've done this multiple times and it's just so relaxing and peaceful. Now it's gonna be a little bit windy as we go out here, but you have everything right here, the steering wheel, the throttle, then you got some Bluetooth radio right there, your gauges, and you're just out on the sea. Look at that. So you can't film, like I can't film while I'm driving, so I actually have to have it shut off. So that's why I'm just kind of sitting here and I'll set up the camera while I actually drive, but it is so peaceful. There's Bay Lake Tower right here, and then the Contemporary, and we can drive it over to Seven Seas Lagoon, the Wilderness Lodge, Fort Wilderness. You can actually even go to Discovery Island if you wanted to, which is right there. I think we'll go take a see at Discovery Island, and then over in front of Cinderella Castle. They also give you a trusty little map that lets you know where you can or cannot go, and that comes pretty handy. And there's two different sides, so you got Bay Lake and then Seven Seas Lagoon over there. I love this so much. <laughs> it is so beautiful. It literally makes me just like kind of just feel so happy and giddy. Right here is the abandoned Discovery Island and you can see the little docking area right there. They even have the warning sign for alligators and snakes over here. But uh, it's pretty, pretty amazing. This is about all you can see. You really can't see anything else. It's still kind of cool though little bit of abandoned Disney right here. Here is another dock with a little bit of the go away green around it. So you really can't tell. But this is so interesting that they just have something just sitting here kind of just rotting away. Just gonna sit out here and relax. Right behind me is like the Discovery Island. Like I said, it reminds me of Jurassic Park. And it was so cool, I wish I got to see that. Let me know in the comments if you were able to see that or if you were able to see River Country. That's in front of us actually. Right there is River Country. Now soon to be a, a new resort. Look at it, it's all demolished, nothing there. And I'm shocked, I, last I heard they stopped uh, construction for, I think it was called Reflections, is the new resort they're gonna put there. And over there is uh, Fort Wilderness, and then the shoe tree. That's where all the cast members throw their shoes on. I wonder if we can get a close look at that. There's, it looks like there's a lot of actual shoes on there. But how cool is it just to like, just sit here and relax? Just sit out on Bay Lake and just, chill out and reflect on everything that's what i love coming out here for reflection <laughs> maybe that's why they're calling that the, the resort makes sense <laughs> and there's the shoe tree look at all of those shoes on there you got a couple of them floating in the water and it's guarded by those birds up there so can't come take any of those shoes the birds will get you now like i said let's make our way over in front of the castle we're gonna pull right up to cinderella castle you can actually uh go right up to where the ferry boats actually take you to uh magic kingdom but before we take off that way look at it from here isn't that so amazing and the cinderella castle is right in between the contemporary and bay lake but we're gonna head over this way and we're gonna go over a water bridge that's gonna take us over into seven seas lagoon I wanted to just come by here a little bit slow to see if we can catch a monorail come above us. Oh, and there comes one right there. Here it is. I wonder if we can get it to honk at us from here. <laughs> we are, oh my Lord, there's another monorail coming the opposite way. So we're on a boat underneath two monorails. 
I feel like this is like a, a tail. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, that is so cool. I told you, if you get excited about the littlest things, it's amazing how exciting life can be. We have to wait until the ferry boat actually makes its way across. All of the transportation boats have the right of way, so you have to stop and wait for them. And it's almost there, and then we're going to be able to continue. I can almost see the castle from here, though. It's just right about there. And there she is, Cinderella Castle. You can see the train station. We're right in front of Main Street USA. Actually, we are like right, if Main Street USA went all the way to TTC, we would be on Main Street USA. How cool is that? So amazing. This is really an unbelievable experience. It is so, so windy out, but I think we're gonna head back to the Contemporary now. Got the Grand Floridian right over here. And I don't want to go back actually, but we are getting being we're, like we're being charged by the half an hour So I can't be out here forever. I think I've already elapsed an hour most of the time I just kind of sat here and just relaxed I, I pick up the camera whenever we're stopped and show you guys some things, but it's just about being out here. I love it amazing was that I love it so much seriously it's one of the best things to do on property it's definitely a hidden gem and also like coming out and just being in this general area itself it just makes me feel so happy I love being over at the contemporary resort and now it's time to head on into the contemporary and go to chef Mickey's I'm really loving today today has been a wonderful start to a nice staycation uh, just going on the boat hiking around Bay Lake, going to Chef Mickey's now. Huh, I love it. I hope you guys don't mind long videos because I feel like this is gonna be a long video because after Chef Mickey's, we still wanna see the fire, uh, the fire pit. We also wanna watch the fireworks. So there's still a lot more to come after we go to Chef Mickey's and uh, it's gonna be a long video. So let me know in the comments. I hope you don't mind long videos because I like making them. I like making fun, adventurous vlogs. Our table is ready and now it is time to eat. This used to be a buffet and who knows, it actually might become a buffet again in the near future. A lot of the Disney World restaurants are switching back, but now it's kind of just family style still. And I love it. We're heading on in though. Honestly though, I love the theming inside Chef Mickey's. I love everything. It's so pretty because it's Chef Mickey's so it's full of Mickey itself. But like I said before, it used to be a buffet and this was like the buffet line itself. And there's a Mickey right there. And I think we're back here. So we actually uh, have a table in this back room here. And you can see all the different Mickey art all around too. And I love it. Even Mickey little uh, chairs. Uh oh. Looks like the chef's coming out. Mickey's coming out soon. Chef Mickey's is $59.99 for adults and then $35 for children. It's all you care to enjoy. They're gonna bring out all the food to you and it's served family style and plus it's character dining. So Mickey and Minnie and all of our friends will actually be around and you get to take selfies and say hi and they sing and they dance. It's really, really awesome. There's Mickey himself. Hiya, pal. Came to check on the food. I'm excited. Chef Mickey in the house. Very, very cool. That's the way. I know I'm here for the prime rib. <laughs> I know that is the way. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. It's all good so far. I'm excited. Yeah, absolutely. Compliments to the chef. <laughs> Thank you, Mickey. Yeah, we'll see you again. For starters, they bring out some nice focaccia bread, and this bread is so amazing. Usually you get like the regular dinner rolls whenever you come to restaurants like this, but I love the focaccia bread here. And then they also give you some salads to start off with. One of them is a Chef Mickey Caesar salad, which is this one. And then they have a citrus poached baby shrimp. This one's really good because it comes with cilantro, lime, uh, broccoli slaw. And then they have a plant-based salad right over here. So lots of salads, lots of things for the starters. 
everything is kind of all pre-made up there so no matter how many people are sitting at the table they just bring out the regular amount so like me by myself there's no way i'm gonna eat all of the salad or also all of the food so it's hard to actually get seconds but i do like the shrimp i love this shrimp right here so fun i think i'm gonna grab some of my focaccia bread but i'm so excited for the prime rib the prime rib and the turkey is phenomenal here look at how soft this focaccia bread is it just tears apart like oh so good it reminds me of like a real nice garlic bread as well and look at the little table caddies isn't these so amazing i actually seen these at forever vintage the uh, video i just made the other day they had them down in the store they were selling them that is so cool i should have got one i didn't know it was from chef mickey's we saw chef mickey before and now here is chef minnie yeah, absolutely i like the little cupcake on your dress that's very nice i'm excited i can't wait to try the desserts later on they're gonna be good did you make the desserts you did oh wow fancy pastry chef mickey i mean pastry chef minnie yeah very very good well i'm excited well thank you for coming over and saying hi yeah oh thank you bye have a great day if you have dined at chef mickey's in the past when it was a buffet it always had a bad reputation for basically being like kids food i love kids food i think it's always the best but since then they really matured the menu a lot and i'm going to show you like some of the adult offerings but i'm also going to show you the children offerings too because i love a little corn dog nugget the cast member that's taking care of me wanted to bring out everything so I can show you guys. And she brought out a little sample plate of the kids' offerings. You get a little mac and cheese, some chicken nuggets, some corn dog nuggets, some tater tots, some broccoli. So that's really good. And I'm going to eat this. Like, I do love corn dog nuggets. You know what I mean? Seriously, all you care to enjoy corn dog nuggets and tater tots? I'm a big kid. I love it. Oh my lord, here comes Donald. Oh, that is amazing. Look at him. <laughs> there he is. Oh, it's just me. You want to come? You want to join me? You can join me if you want. I mean, I would be honored. <laughs> I know. I, I understand. I understand. But thank you for the offer. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love it. Very good. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for the great food. I love it. Oh, <laughs> oh you're the best, Donald. <laughs> thank you. Drinks are included in the price, and I got myself a little Arnold Palmer. <laughs> oh, and there's the goof. Look at that. Oh, yes. I love it. <laughs> you're the best, Goofy. Did you make a lot of the food today? Yeah? Oh yeah, lots of good stuff. You've been baking up a storm back there. You deserve a break. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Goofy. And here is the main event. They've got a nice potato gratin with a little Mickey Parmesan crisp. That looks so, so good, doesn't it? Look at a little Mickey Parmesan crisp. I remember last time I came here, I didn't know what that was. Then we've got succotash, turkey, prime rib, green beans, carrots. We've got gnocchi over here. Look at that gnocchi. Oh, that's hot. And then we got some salmon and then some rice over there. And uh, looks all good. And guess who just showed up? I'm a little shocked, but you can see him peeking over here. It's Pluto. Look at that. Hi, Pluto. I hope you're having a great day. Oh, I love your whiskers. Those are my favorite. They're very springy. Yeah. Oh, and I love your collar, too. It's a little Pluto frying pan. Wow, that is really awesome. You're the best. Now, are you a chef or are you the taste tester? <laughs> that's tough, right? I think I would want to be a taste, a taste tester. Yep, that's how I, me too. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Pluto. Have a great one. Bye. <laughs> I'm pretty positive that Chef Mickey's has the most characters actually meet and greet out of all the active character dinings right now. Because you get Donald, Pluto, Goofy, Mickey, Minnie. You get the Fab, well, you get the, yeah, you get the Fab Five. But uh, I don't think anywhere else has that. I think they're always missing either Donald or uh, Pluto. I'm pretty positive about that. 
Let's dive in here though. I love the succotash and I love these carrots. These carrots were like my favorite carrots I think I've ever had on property. Oh, it's so, so good. And then the prime rib too. And it comes with a little caramelized onion on top. I don't know if they give you any au jus though. I would like to see some au jus, but we're gonna have to get some right over here. A little bit of turkey with gravy. And like I said, they give you the same like amount of portions, whether it's just you or if you're by yourself. You know what I mean? If it's just you or you're by yourself, I think that sounded a little funny. So no matter what, I'd get the same amount of food if I was here with three people or if I was here just by myself. I'm not gonna do like a full, full dining review because it's more of a staycation, but I do wanna show off the prime rib because it's so, so good. And it's all you care to enjoy. So if you do want more prime rib, anything that you want, you can just tell them, hey, I want some extra of that and they'll bring them right out. So cheers to the prime rib. These carrots though are so, so good. Man, I do love me some carrots. Now the succotash is, the, the succotash is pretty good, but I like the succotash at uh, the land or at the seasons in Epcot. It is so, so good. And plus it has vegetables that were actually, uh, which one we call it, grown on living with the land. Whenever I kind of lose track of what I was about to say, I always say, which one we call it? Which one we call it, eh, Doc? <laughs> uh oh. It's time to make the biscuits. <laughs> Making the biscuits. That's the way. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Donald is cracking me up over here. And now they're all gonna come around and dance, and it's so fun. <laughs> Look at Mickey with the dance moves there. Biscuits in the oven. <laughs> I think now I'm gonna dive into some of the gnocchi here and it looks really, really good. Look at that. And you get like a whole pot and this is really hot so you gotta be careful. Don't mind if I do. Now we're definitely gonna wanna save room for dessert because they have a great dessert trio or like a dessert platter that I love. Even like with a Mickey Mouse, uh, a Mickey Moose dome cake. The reason I think this is probably one of the best character dining is because right now, uh, with all of the restaurants closed, they have the most amount of characters, like I said, and also, you don't need to have a park ticket. Like, you can just come here and come to the Contemporary, and you get to meet Mickey, Minnie, and Goofy, and you don't have to go in the park. So, families that actually visit down in Florida and they wanna have, like, a chance to meet Mickey Mouse, and they can't afford to go to the parks, they can always just come here, and uh, you get to meet them. So, I, I kinda like it a lot. Now, things might change in the future, when restaurants reopen everything like that but right now I feel like this is the best and here are the desserts and I love the contemporary resort plate you can actually get this at uh, forever vintage too and we've got a strawberry cheesecake cake right there and it says contemporary and little chocolate then we got chef Mickey apple pie and then the little Mickey mouse or Mickey moose domes and the bottoms an Oreo so I can't wait to dive into these. I love this apple pie though. I remember getting it so many times and I was like, wow, that's too good. I have to try the apple pie first. It's my go-to. It is just so, so good. And the tart is just on point. I like to fill it up a little bit with all the apple stuffing and then get a little Chef, Chef Mickey button on there. They give you so much though. Like, Wow, this is so much dessert. So I'm not gonna be able to finish it. I didn't finish a lot of this food though, to be honest. Like there was a lot. Oh, and I think she's bringing me more. Are you bringing me more? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, gotta have the cookies. <laughs> now we gotta try some of the strawberry cheesecake. Look at that. 
Don't mind if I do. Mm. That strawberry cake is so amazing. So rich, I love it. I don't know if I like that more than I like the apple pie. That's gonna be a tough decision. But we have to crack open a Mickey, a Mickey dome here. Ooh, <laughs> I lost it there. Look at that, Mickey Moose. Now we're all finished up and it's time to head back outside. And I think it's still daylight out, but I think the fire pits already started up. So uh, we're gonna head over there and check that out next. Looks like there's a little bit of daylight still left over, so we're gonna make our way right on out here then. Also, I love how you can hear Mickey's voice in the elevator. I wonder if you're gonna be able to hear it when we get down here, hold on. We're going down. The first floor. Isn't that so cool? Right on over here is where the uh, campfire is. Now this isn't the fire pit where you get to sit down and relax. This is where they have the s'mores, but I still want to come over and check it out. Here is the fire pit and they are doing s'mores and the 50th anniversary celebration one you have to pay extra for, but it's just kind of cool to hang out here and uh, sit by a fire. <laughs> there is no way. I mean, I would have loved to make a s'mores, but huh. Chef Mickey's was so, so much. And now it's completely dark out, but it's so beautiful here. Look at the contemporary lights turn on. And I think we can actually head on over uh, behind Bay Lake now. Maybe now the community hall is all emptied out from everyone doing their tie-dye. And I can show you around in there before we head up to our balcony to watch Enchantment because don't forget Enchantment is at eight o'clock tonight. Here it is, the community hall, and it is empty in here. There's not anybody really in here, but it's mostly for kids. But I want to show you where you can grab stuff. They have special things like build a magnet, build a button, build a keychain. And here are all the binders of the movies that uh, you can rent. I didn't even know you guys had R-rated movies here. Yes. Wow, that's kind of fancy. <laughs> like You wouldn't expect that. I want to see what kind of R-rated movies you have in here. I thought it was only going to be like Disney movies, you know? Oh yeah, Bad Santa! <laughs> that was the first one that popped out. How funny is that? Deadpool, Dangerous Minds. This is really, really cool. So that community hall is really, really awesome. I had no idea they had R-rated movies though. Like that blows my mind. Bad Santa. And then what was the other one that we pulled out? Like I was kind of shocked by. Oh, Con Air. Con Air was on there. Let's make our way up to the room though and RIP top of the world lounge. This is where you would normally check in at But no more. So I guess we're going all the way up Now we're back inside the room and we're gonna get ready to sit down and watch enchantment from the balcony I can't wait to see what it looks like. I'm so excited and uh, You know really I like to like sit on the balcony and have like a bud light, but you know what? I'm thinking I want to have a coffee. They want a little little coffee, an after dinner coffee. I, I, I like drinking coffee after dinner and uh, it's always fun to have a coffee and watch some fireworks. Also, it looks like they put away the good silverware. Now they give you individual plastic silverware. Too many people were starting to put it in their purse probably. <laughs> Not me though. There we go, that's what we need. The good stuff. Cheers. Oh, much too hot. Oh, but so, so good. Oh, I loved it. I don't know why it's, I mean, it's good coffee, but it just reminds me of happy mornings. Every time I take a sip of Disney coffee, I just kind of get this like happy feeling, you know? Now let's go make our way out to the balcony. Just about 30 minutes to go. 30 minutes until enchantment. So we get to just sit out here and relax. Oh my lord, I just realized this is my first time being able to see the monorails with the lights actually going by at night here too. That looks so cool. <laughs> wow. Also, I'm a little torn because the music isn't pumped into the balcony. It's only pumped in uh, like in common areas at the resorts and stuff like that. So if you want to hear the music really good, you can either play it on your phone and uh, you can play it on the TV, but you'd have to like somehow cast it to the TV. This TV isn't set up with the fancy uh, programming like at uh, Riviera or anything like that. And I think you can still hear the music a little bit from here, so we'll find out. But if worse comes to worse, I'm gonna put it on my phone and then just record from my camera. 
But I'm loving this, and the fireworks should start soon. Guys, that's happily ever after playing right afterwards. <laughs> Literally, it just turned on the second it stopped. And they all live happily ever after. Each of us has a dream. <laughs> it calls to How awesome was that? I love just sitting on the balcony, vibing, and just really having a great time drinking coffee, watching the fireworks. One of the things that I like about Enchantment is the gigantic shells that they actually, or the burst that they actually set off. And you can see a lot of that above Space Mountain from this point of view. Uh, the music, eh, you know, the music is, you know, but I did get it played up on my phone. I don't know how well it's synced. Honestly, I don't know if it's even gonna be usable. Like, I don't even know if it's gonna be usable when I go to edit this, because I just thought, I'm like, maybe I might get copyrighted. I don't know. But I'll figure it out somehow. And uh, the important thing is, is I had an amazing experience just sitting out here and enjoying it. And uh, yeah, that was it's pretty amazing. <laughs> but now I think it's time we get to bed. I love sleeping in these beds, especially with Mickey Mouse above it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I say that as my outro i always say i hope you enjoyed the video because i enjoyed making it because i truly do 
enjoy making these videos. This is the best thing I've ever done in my life. And being able to share that with you guys and being able to present something that people get to watch and take joy in is the greatest feeling ever. And it's everything I've ever wished. It's my dreams come true, really. And tonight is like today was just one of those remarkable days where I came to a resort with my camera and I just had a great time just me by myself bringing you guys along and showing you how I would like relax at a resort and it was amazing absolutely amazing so I'm so happy that you guys enjoy making the videos and as long as you keep watching them I'm gonna keep making them and it's just it's it's phenomenal so <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye